Good afternoon, everyone. As always, I am Lutra FM, and this is Baxter chilling on my lap. There you go. Um, yeah, we're on. A, sorry, I got sidetracked there. We're on episode seventy-two of the Rafe Rovers journey. Um, hopefully, you're all enjoying it so far. Where you left us off last, we played. I think we played four games. Um, yeah, we played three games. Sorry, so we we uh, we're on. We beat Motherwell four three, Ross County four one, and then we beat Far. Partick Thistle in the League Cup second round. So this episode will probably be concentrating on the Livingston game and then the big game against Celtic and then we've got Dundee United and if we've got time we will play Hearts but we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, but we're playing Livingston next in the Scottish Premiership. Um, we're undefeated in the league so far. A uh, particular highlight so far has been Hoyland. Who um, he's got eleven goals so far in five games, so very impressive. Um, finally hitting the form that we were expecting him to do. He's only twenty three, so we've still got plenty of potential left to achieve. But as you can see, he's got eleven goals this, so far this season. He's nearly beaten his previous record for the last two seasons combined. So yeah. He's on the up, I think. But yeah, we will see. We, ah, there we go. We've signed a decent left-back cover. Uh, we've also signed another young striker who I'm probably going to send out on loan for the season, I think. Um, he can play on the wing, so... But I just don't think he's going to get in the team. His finishing's actually really good. Dribbling's really good. Um, he's ambitious as well. Acceleration's really good. Actually, I'll keep him here. You never know. He might come handy on the wings. It's all right, my dog's just woken up, so I'm trying to settle him back down. Hopefully, he'll fall asleep. Uh, we've got Rangers in the quarterfinal of the League Cup, so I'll probably I'll probably rotate the team again. Uh, you never know; we might beat him even ro ro even with a rotated team. Samuel Adosi is a very good player. I had him in my Everton team. I think he's only just signed for Hearts. I know. Uh, I think I might try and sign him. I don't think he'll come to us, but we can see. They won't increase the transfer budget, obviously, because it's literally, they've only just recently gave me the transfer budget, and I think it's the same with the wage budget. Uh, they have increased transfer percentage Transfer revenue percentage to 100% though, so that's really good. Yeah, Dosi doesn't want to come to us, which is a shame. But we will potentially look at signing him at some point. Luckily, the dog's settled in again. He loves tucking his head underneath my arm, which I don't personally think would be good for him because you'd think he wouldn't be able to breathe under there, but... He seems perfectly happy there, and I do, and he does. He is breathing because I can hear him breathing in and out, so I don't panic too much. But because he's such a little dog, I do worry. Right, Livingston coming up. It's taking ages to process two days. I should have just gone on holiday before I started the. I should have just holiday before the game started so you didn't have to put up with this nonsense. Right, Sally is out the door. He will be uh he was he was alright for us at times. He wasn't outstanding, but he was alright. Um 
you know, he played all right for the season. He scored six goals, got five assists, but I just think there's better players here. Did I get him on a freebie as well? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, so I made profit on him. Hopefully them appeals will go through and we can sign them. Louis Jackson's coming in as an emergency backup centre-back, so that's good. Uh, come on, I want to play this game. All right, we're finally on match day. Give him a bit of praise. Right then, got an M in. El Arouche. Aru yeah, Arouche. I'm going to call him El Arouche. Or Mohammed, if that's easier, probably. I don't know. Anyway, good little player. Play probably back up, but. Decent backup, good personality, fairly determined, so that's good. I'm trying to only sign players now that have got decent personalities as well, if I can help it. Right then, let's see. So we've got Tickle back in goal, Ayano is right back, Vivas and Diaz in centre defence, Bruce on the left, uh, Petrovic and Johnson in the middle of midfield, Moraes on the right, Barr in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Hoyland up front, which is probably our usual straightforward lineup here so let's just see how we get on potential debuts as well on the subs bench hmm. there we go yeah we've got astradillo uh and Owanu. i don't think he's played yet he can make his debut and we've got Pira, Piran Nolo, Piran Nolo. Right, we've got the first highlight of the game. Can we get an early goal here? Oh, nearly. Nearly a great start to the game. Bloody hell, look at Rangers at the moment. Oh, look all the way down there. Saying that though, if they win the next game, they're back up here, aren't they, really? Right, throw into us, Bruce, across to Ruiz. Ruiz cuts inside into the area, shoots, and I think it's saved somehow. Right, Ruiz with the corner. Oyanu. We win this game, we should go back to the top of the league, hopefully. Diaz. Hoyland. Oh. Yeah, we get on. Right, second half, we need to come, we need to win this game. We can't be losing to Livingston there, getting into this game now, by the looks of it. Who's not been playing well? Moraes is not playing well. Uh, I haven't got anybody to put on for you, though. Right, we've got a corner. Let's see what we can do from this. Yes. Nah. We should be winning this game. 
we're not. Hoyland's unfortunately is not playing well either. Right. Time to put some players, take some players off. Johnson, you're not playing well, so you need to come off. Rios can come on for you. Uh, Marais, you're not playing well. We'll put Anawanu on and we'll swap him over. And we can't. Uh, oh, I don't know. Actually, let's ignore that one. Uh, do we need another right? We don't need another right winger. It's just we don't have any on the pitch, on the suspension, annoyingly. So we'll have to do that. And then we'll keep Hoyland because I think he might turn it around. Both centre defenders aren't playing well. So Rocky and Beeston can come on. Right. That's it. We might take off Hoyland. Can we take him off? We can take him off. We'll take him off in about 10 minutes. Free kick to us though. Ruiz. Ooh. Good save by their goalie from the free kick. Right, let's see if we can do something from this corner. No. Right, Hoyland, you're coming off, I think. Tesgale can come on. Mm, got a feeling we're going to draw this game. Yeah, nil nil. Oh well, we can't win them all, everyone. We should have won that one there. Alright, Lowry's out the door. I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute for the uh, next part of the episode, uh, which will hopefully be us being salty. And we're back for part two of this episode, and uh, we'll just go through the inbox items now. So we've managed to sign Precious Ugu. What a name, Precious Ugu. Um, Lewis Vaughan played well for the reserves on last game. 9.3 ratings, a fair play to him. You never know, he might get a, a run out at some point in the League Cup game. Maybe. Right, Moran's not happy. So... Send him out on loan. He's still young enough that he can we can do that for him. Why is he why is he decreasing in uh maybe we'll look to get rid of you. I don't like that. That worries me. Probably won't be able to sell him though, because we only just signed him in the summer. Right, that's that. So we've got Celtic coming up now. They're currently fifth, we're third. If we win this game, hopefully we'll go back to top. We can't ideally we can't if we want to win the title we've got to we've got to keep beating Celtic and Rangers a couple of times a season, hopefully. Because they win literally ninety nine percent of their games. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, tickling goal, Ayano was right back, Vivas and Diaz in the 10 defence, Bruce on the left, usual midfield, Coelho's back, oh, I forgot we have Coelho, uh, Coelho's on the right, Barr in the middle, Ruiz on the left, and Hoyland up front. Hopefully Coelho does better than Maurice, because Maurice has been rubbish for us. That's not, that's not a good start, is it? Two minutes in, Celtic have already scored. Uh, it's going to be one of them games. They've leapfrogged past us in the league now as well. Uh, 
Celtic look more likely to score in this first half than us. Throwing to them. Oh, thank God for that. Oh. Right, throwing to us. Come on, let's get back in this game now. Oyanu. Oh, he loses the ball. Come on, Oyanu. It's not like you. There you go. He gets it back, but we still lose it. Celtic on the run now. Johnson for them. Intercepted nicely by us. Now is it our break? Are we going to counter-attack from this? Ruiz flies past their players. Passes it back. Petrovic, great ball. Go on, Ayano. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want to see. Coelho back in the team, scored. Ayano making up for his mistake. So that's good. Right. Let's get this first half done now. There we go. Oh, come on, let's go. Oh, interception there. Oh, Bar hits the ball over the bar. But I'm, I'm, I'm here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right, a few knackered players. Uh, have we got? Yeah, we have Valencia. Oh, Ruiz is knackered now as well. Oh, and Diaz. I'll take a draw if that's what we're going to get. We turned it around a little bit though. I've said this now and now bloody Celtic's going to score. I always jinx us. I should have waited. Come on, head it out. That's it. Good. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. And we haven't got Dewurst either. He used to be our... Uh, used to be the goalkeeper that used to save penalties. Oh, for God's sake. This is a cruel way to lose this game. Come on. Come on, Tickle. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> Right, that's it by the looks of it. Yeah. Ah, that's a bit of pill to swallow that. Ah. Right, boulders out the door. Right, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode, Dundee United. Right, and we're back for the final part of the episode. And uh, let's just go through this. Ashby's out for a few days, unfortunately. We're going after Anton Semiyeo, who used to play for Bournemouth and Bristol City before that. Uh, I don't know why we're going for him. I think I'm going to cancel that. I don't, I don't, uh, sorry. Right. I can cancel it when I go into the contract negotiations. We had a few offers for Moran. No offers for him, but that's understandable because he's only just signed. Right, near the end of the transfer window now, seven days left. You never know, might be some more excitement coming up. Bear with me two seconds, sorry. Okay, sorry, I was just checking something. Right, 
Uh, we've probably got enough time for this game and another game, actually, to be honest. So you never know. We might end up getting the transfer deadline day done as well. I think that's what we'll do. So we only played three games last episode. Uh, they're not happy that I failed to reach the Europa Conference League proper. I was meant to do that at the end of this season. So I don't know what, what that means for my job. Maybe they might get rid of me, depending on how well I do in the league. Anyway, right. We've got Dundee United now. Uh, I think same goalie, same defence, basically same midfield. Uh, yeah, same team, new enough. Uh, let's get on with the game. We've got Petrovic now. Bar. Cross to Ayane. Ruiz. Ah, oh, nearly. Yeah, Petrovic score then. Got a corner. Hopefully we can get an early lead and we can relax a little bit. Diaz. Back to Ruiz. Ruiz across to Ayane. Ayane to Coella. There we go. Yame Coella. Glad he's back because I think he had a long term injury actually. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. I don't, I don't know actually. History, injuries. Oh, it wasn't that long. Six weeks, four days. Maybe he's just been out of the team. Maybe he just hasn't been good enough. But he's back in it and he's doing well. So yeah, 1 0 up. Back to third place by the looks of it. Neck and neck on points with Aberdeen and Celtic. Ah, uh, one one. He always seems to score against us. Oh well, he's very good actually. Uh, let's add him. I won't sign him yet, but I might look to sign him in January or something if I'm lacking in then in that position. Good say, tickle. Good defensive clearance there by Oyane. Right, free kick to us, Ruiz. Ooh. Test the goalkeeper, but the goalkeeper manages to punch it out. Corner to us. Ruiz now with the corner. Back to Oyane. Ah, at least nothing. Diaz across to Bruce now to Petrovic Petrovic loses the ball good tackle there oh for God's sake that's offside though isn't it I think he was miles offside what's VAR going to say good Is he any good as well? We could do with just signing loads of Dundee United players and it's 31. We won't sign him. Right, 1-1 one, one coming up to half time. Oh, we've got a corner, you never know. That, that had some stink on it, that did, didn't it? That was one hell of a uh, corner there. <gasps> oh, Coelho with the uh, skillful shot there. Right, 1-1 one, one at half time. This has been a very, uh, with all these yellow cards, it's been a very aggressive game by the looks of it. I'll be amazed if there isn't a red card in this game. Hopefully it won't be a red card to us, though. Good. Goal kick to us. Right. Uh, let's make some substitutions now. Petrovic. 
do I know can come on for you? Right, I uh, just need to switch over Ashby with Ayanu. Uh, I don't think we're going to win this game, bollocks. I think we'll be lucky to get a draw. Yeah, they're, they're way better than us at the moment, and we can't do anything else about it at the moment. Oof, we were lucky there. I fire up the players before we end this game. Come on, there we go. Let's see if that'll do anything. Oh, no. Good save, tickle. Right, let's uh, counter-attack from this. Booted out by tickle. Uh, unfortunately, it went back to Dundee United, but we've got it back. No, we don't. A bit of head tennis going on there. We lose the ball. Dundee United over the top to Campbell. Oh, thank God they're rubbish at shooting. We still stay fourth, though. I feel like we're never going to win the Prem uh, Scottish Premiership with this team. It doesn't matter what we do. It's uh, it's very frustrating. We just seem to stay in the fourth position every season, third or fourth. Sometimes we get like third, and then sometimes we get six. It's just weird. I'll have a look in a second, actually. Right. Uh, club info. History, competition, no. Uh, yeah, so obviously, let me just let's set that one there. No, no. Yeah, so six, third, and then fourth. Yeah. We just seem to be like a. We are progressing slightly. Um, we went from a six, top six team to a top four team. But, yeah, it's a bit frustrating. Right, uh, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back. And I've only just realised that basically when I went on holiday for the next game, I forgot that we got the transfer deadline day. So I think I've, I, I did just come out of holiday, but I think I might have been a bit too late. Um, so we'll see. We had uh, Daniel Ruiz in the team of the week. He's, uh, he's doing well. We're going to praise his recent form, but we're going to criticise his training, which might not work out well for us. So that's all that's done is just completely ruin his morale. So, yeah, that's great. Um, right. Do we sell him? No, no, I won't sell him. Just because I've had a falling out with him. If I did that, I'd be selling every single player every single week, wouldn't I? Right. Apparently he's good enough to be a squad player for us. Okay. But he'll never play, so I don't see the point in doing that. Okay. We trust our staff here. Be a good replacement for David Ruiz if I do so hard to get rid of him. Right, why are we going for him? Jesus Christ, no. I'm so glad that deal didn't work out. Thank God for that. David Meller is out for a while. Yeah, we we missed the transfer deadline day. Sorry, everyone. Oh. Yeah, sorry. Right. Scott McKellar. Inter after him. 
re-sign him just because Inter Milan's after him. I think that's usually the way to go. They want to sign a replacement first though, so that's not good. Alright, send a few of these youngsters out on loan. Oh, we haven't missed the transfer deadline day actually. By the looks of it. Right, we've got Richie Moran's gone on loan to Wrexham. Penman's gone to uh Forfa. Forfa? Forfa? I probably butchered that completely. Right, Medina, we've got Medina. Yalma Medina, good little sign in he is. Hayden Hackney, uh, How much are we bloody going for? How much are we paying for him though? 14 million, oh, I don't know about that. Uh, I'll leave it. He, he was good for us. Sometimes you've got to spend a bit big money. Race is out for three months. Great. Oh, no, 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 no. Not 125 K a week. Well, not happening. The bloody fee's big enough. I'm not clicking paying. Uh, right, Hoyland's sell on clause. Yep, we'll pay that because... I think down the road that will benefit us. And then a minute, we'll just buy these anyway. Have a look at the squad dynamics. So we've got Hoyland and Petrovic as the team leaders. Bruce and Brendan Barr is highly influential. And then we've got a few of these as influential as well. Including Lewis Vaughan. Uh, I need to add Lewis Vaughan to see if, let's see if, where's training? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, there we go. Let's see if the coaches want to move about a bit as well. Yep. Uh... see that and then let's see if we can get more scouts right i'm gonna actually because it's been working out quite well for my offline save i'm going to first of all take over training instead of letting the assistants do it oh what am i doing we'll see how this goes if it doesn't go well we'll just Put it back and then what we're going to do is train in uh, overview schedules and then we're going to import these RDF tactics uh, training schedules um because he did get good reviews he did get um he did get good results when he did it so if we just do that one the general one and that so that's that so there's going to be a lot of unhappy players uh, I need to do change the rest part of this as well. So this needs to be double intensity. So yeah, so it will be a lot of unhappy players. And then we need to do the same for the reserves. So custom import uh, that one. And then we need to click on rest, change that to double. Uh, and then we need to do the same for the under 18s. So training, schedules, I think you might have an actual custom one for youth, let's just have a look first. Yeah, youth, youth two matches, there you go. So we'll do that, hopefully that will work out well. Uh, rest, double intensity, so yeah, and then we'll do staff, coaching team, I don't know, training I meant to do, coaches. Edit assignments, scatter them about a bit. Do the same for the reserves, training, 
approaches, edit. There we go. Right, let's see how we get on in a month or two. Let's see uh, if we get a lot of players improving because they have been doing well on the save I'm doing at the moment with uh, this Polish team I'm managing called um, Wisla Krakow. Um, so, yeah, so let's just see how we get on. Uh, I think I might just try and get rid of them, actually. Uh, I don't think he's ever going to get any game time. Let's try 100k. What's that? Right, I'm not, I'm not playing... I mean, being messed about here, so you either accept that, right? That's fine. Right. DOF has gone for him. Uh, Cap wants for Switzerland. Defensive midfielder, so obviously our DOF thinks we need to uh, get better quality in that position. Right, we've signed him. God knows how you... Uh, Kras, Krasniki? Krasniki? There we go. I'll just call him Bledian. There you go. I'll call him by his first name, Bledian. But he's pretty good. Uh, balanced personality. Let's see how we get on with him. Got a loan offer for him. He should be playing in the first team, not bloody... And loaned out, but he's not getting in the first team at the moment, so we're probably better off just um, send him out alone for another season, see how it goes. I think the only reason, I think the main reason Gary Rude was playing so much as right back in the first season or two when he was there um, was because of the lack of the lack of quality we had in there. So I think we're we're a lot better. Ah, uh, so McKellar's gone. See if we can get him on loan. Oh no, no. They want 15 million if we do that. We're not doing that. Right. Leonard Miller's gone on our loan to Greenwich Morton. Wasn't I supposed to cancel the transfer? Did I do it? Yeah, it's alright. It's already cancelled. It's fine. Right, so I'm going to do a lot more praising and criticising training now, so that's good. At least he's willing to improve in training. Right, Darren Rye has gone to Peterborough United. Hopefully he'll get some first team football there. Right, we definitely got transfer deadline day underway now. But first, we're playing hearts. Uh, yeah, usual defence. We've got uh, Krasniki in midfield today with Petrovic and usual midfield and striker. So uh, there we go. Let's see how we get on. Medina's on the bench as well, so you never know. We might get some. Might make his debut in this game as well. But yeah, what happened there? There we go. First 40 seconds of the game, we've already got a highlight. I don't know if this is good or bad. The players look nervous, so it's not making me too confident. I feel like we're going to lose the ball in a second. This is the game, the problem we have when we play hearts. We both seem to wear our home kits, which is very annoying. Okay, bar. Get in. Good little assist by Hoyland. 1-0 up after 2 minutes, 1 minute sorry, no 2 minutes yeah, we're now 2nd, 1 point behind Celtic, they've got 2 games ahead of us, oh we're 3rd now, that's the annoying thing about Celtic and Rangers, they are always got a couple of games ahead of you, so they always have that psychological edge I think in a way. So 
Sorry about that. Right. Oh, Yarno. Oh, nearly. Ruiz crosses in. Oh. Doing well there. One nil up. Ruiz over the top. Loses the ball, I think. We get it back though. Krasnicki, Ruiz. Beautiful cross. Unlucky there by Bar. Bar headers it over. You know, you know the rest. You know the rest. Right, Ruiz. Yeah. Oh, I feel like they're gonna. I feel like this. There's gonna be a goal to us in a second. There's gonna be. There you go. Get the ball back off them. Vivas to Coella. Coella runs around the player. Passes to Diaz. We're very uh, multinational here at uh, Ray for Overs. Hoyland. Uh, actually, let's have a look. I don't think we've got any Scottish players in this lineup. Oh, we have Bruce. Bruce is the only one. Maybe Barr. I can't remember if he's Scottish. I think he's Irish. Yeah, I think it's it. I think that's it. I think Bruce is the designated Scottish player that we have to have in the team. We have to have at least one Scottish player in the team at all times. Right, let's demand a bit more. Hopefully we can get another goal. Bruce. Vivas. Oh, go on. Hoyland with an ambitious shot there. Right. Krasnicki needs to come off. He's knackered. We'll put on... Jonsson. Right, Medina makes his debut. Uh... Bar needs to come off as well. We'll put on you and then we'll put you on. We'll take you off and we'll put Valencia on. Petrovic to Johnson over the top ball. Headed out. Um. All right, there we go. Medina, get in. Medina with his bloody debut goal. What a what a time! What a great time to make, get your debut goal. Two 0 Game set and match now. I think. Oh, good save there by Tickle. Tickle tickled it over the bar. <laughs> There you go. I'm all about the rubbish dad jokes, me. Right, see no win there. It's a good way to end the episode. Not end the episode, sorry. What am I about? Yeah, end the episode. Sorry. <laughs> right, on that note, uh, let's just go through these inbox items first. Uh, right then, yeah. On that note, I'll uh, I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode where we'll probably, um, I think it'll be. Oh no, we're supposed to do transfer deadline day now, aren't we? Sorry. Have we already done it? Oh, I think we've already done transfer deadline day. I'm I'm all over the place today. Keep skipping to the next game. Sorry about this for people watching. Like I said, I'm all over the place this morning.
was the same thing on here, so I assume we've already, we've already, uh, we must have finished it and I just probably didn't realise. Oh yeah, because I holidayed in nine, I think it just finished the window. Oh no, Hoyland's out. Ah, uh, in a couple of days he'll be back hopefully for the next game. Yeah, I think the window's done, isn't it? We've had five of our players in the team of the week. Uh, Ayano, Vivas, Medina, Barr and Ruiz. I'll just keep holiday, uh, not holiday, processing. Hopefully hearts will beat Celtic. Oh, 2-2, two, two, that helps us a bit, actually. Uh, yeah. Not the best result for Celtic, but not the worst one either. We're still top. Right then, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it then. Sorry about the confusion near the end there. Uh, but thank you as always for watching. And I'll be back tomorrow. All the best. Bye.